Enjoyment in Harvest, September 24, 2008, from God the Father and Jesus, Yahshua, our Lord and Savior, a letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. I have already come, yea, I shall gather. Behold, I come in full power and glory. During this time and forward shall there be a great wailing, tears as a river, tears and blood, death and great evil. Fear not, I am with you to deliver you, your Savior and your friend, the mighty one of God. Beloved, I have defeated the world, no more shall it rise up against me. It shall be finished, it shall be completed. It shall be done, in a week and in a day, it shall surely be fulfilled. Behold the Lord Most High, Mighty God, Wonderful, Counselor, Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father, I Am is coming quickly. Thus says the Lord to the prophets, Prophets, arise and strike them down even all of them who stand so tall. Go forth, a great humbling. Reach out the hand and uplift the lowly and the afflicted. Speak loudly by the power of my voice in you. Blow the trumpet and the alarm of war and judgment. I shall reap, says the Lord. I shall gather and judge the earth for all its forsaking of me. Behold, the field is left to you desolate. The streets are left in darkness. Even amongst the grass will you not find even the smallest of fireflies. All are taken and snatched away. My own treasure, my precious beloved, taken and held fast at my bosom, held tightly in the arms of their eternal Father, their Maker. I am come. I shall push at you. I, even I, shall tear you down. I am come as the whirlwind. I shall blow as the tempest, rage as the seas, flood the rivers and all the inlet. Yea, I shall overflow. Rolling thunder shall be the sound of my voice, and fire shall be its sting. The earth shall quake and heave at my presence. The world shall be turned upside down in my fury, scorching firmament, boiling of the seas. I shall strike the earth, and it shall tremble in fear, and men's hearts shall fail them for fear, and with great perplexity they shall consider that which is before their eyes. The mighty one of Jacob has come, and shall be glorified above all the hills, set over all mountains. Yea, he shall sit high above the heavens, and judge the earth. The earth shall bow and be consumed by his glory. Yet you, O evil, arrogant and proud, deceived generation, you shall rebel and raise your fists against me and persecute my body. Therefore come, come forward and beat upon your chests. Open your mouths in blasphemies and push at the king. Come forward, stand up and make yourselves known. You shall be brought very low. You shall shout with a proud voice, even in concert, in all wickedness. Yet I shall be unmoved, sighing, steadfast in my purpose. Yet lay a hand upon one of my beloved, even a single finger, and watch, even in utter amazement, how quickly I move my hand against you in anger. For that kindled, though it only be in part, shall bring down all your tall towers, uproot all your trees, even to the slaying of all these giants who stood so tall and unmoving, forsaking the poor and needy, holding back and stealing from those who have called out in fear. Therefore thus says the Lord, I shall bring against you a dark storm. It shall be thick, the blackness of which shall suffocate you and you shall die where you stand, even a whisper of the Most High, softly spoken against you, shall bring down all you have built upon these vanities, vain deceits and evil intentions, 
a great subversion among many faces. For in unheard word, I shall speak in quiet to all your foundations. At my silent rebuke, they shall all fall in. They shall surely crack and crumble, a grave shaking. Then in great violence shall this house come down. With a great crashing, it shall be torn to pieces, shattering upon the ground. Even those houses called by my name, built up by human hands, shall be brought down. You, you, O perverse nation, are to whom I speak, says the Lord God of hosts. To you, O nation not desired, to you, O nation under God, my footstool, you have murdered the innocent. You have torn the flesh of my beloved little ones. Murderers, evil generation, who shall save you from the wrath of God that has come? It builds and has come. All which is stored up is poured out upon you. Oh, perverse generation. Men and women of these United States, behold, I send to you a prophet. He shall blow the trumpet and declare your end, and of the ruin that shall come upon you, for all your forsaking of me, even me, of whom you say is your God. I am no more your God. My face is turned from you. My arm is outstretched against you. Blow the trumpet, my watchman. This word, my word, shall become famous, and all those in your nation shall come to hate you with a deep and profound anger, a severe burning. Fear not, Timothy. Thus says the Lord, let it be known, let it be heard and come to pass in this, the last time, regarding the servants of God, the watchmen, the prophets of these last days, even of these born out of due time, those without price, the mouthpieces of the Most High God. Come against them, and you shall be cut down. You shall be cut to pieces, for I have a mighty and strong one, it is he who goes before them. It is he who resides in them and remains forever their rear guard. For if one or three of a city conspire against them, even for my name's sake, will their houses be brought to ruin. And if a city together fights against them or hides and subverts my spoken word, even that city shall become an example, coming to ruin when nature and the earth rise up against it. Hear me now, O faithless, perverse, deceived generation. Bring harm against my anointed, and you shall suffer the quaking of my footsteps. City by city shall be shaken and brought down, wheresoever my messengers have tread upon it, speaking forth my word and power. I have placed my word in their mouths. Cast not one stone against them, for a multitude of hail shall fall upon you according to every rock you cast in their direction. And this shall be the due reward of those who rebel against me, says the Lord. The Lord has spoken. Heed my word. Repent, and I shall yet have mercy upon you before the time when I take back my children and steal away my beloved lambs. Even from your arms and the womb shall they be taken. I shall leave them barren of all those who have forsaken me and used my name as a cursing. Repent, therefore. Howl and wail, put on sackcloth, cover yourselves in ashes, for the day of the Lord has come, even these ten days of sorrow, and seven. Thus says the Lord, the mighty one of Jacob, I shall not make a total end. I shall gather and save my own, the elect, and those who abide in my body, even all those who remain in innocence, for the sake of the second harvest, I will not make a total end. For many are called, but few are chosen. And of those who remain, these shall be refined and brought forth out of much tribulation, having run gallantly for my name. Yet they shall rest until all is completed, until the world is put in subjection before the king. My enemies are made my footstool when all things are cleansed with fire. I shall judge, I shall surely condemn, and that written shall be done. The earth once again is made still, all things restored. A new day, the seventh, one thousand years. Rest, the Sabbath, the kingdom of the sun, which shall endure forever. Amen and amen.